stop. No, no, please. Why are you doing this? million and he's dismissed the counterclaim. Okay. 18 mil and all claims dismissed? <sighs> That's great, Zach. Okay, get yourself over here before the boost is gone. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Come on, I'm dying. <laughs> well, the district court determined that the son tried to suppress the trust set aside for the wife. How much? And to strip the old man of his assets by falsifying documents. Stacy, how much are we talking? <laughs> They've awarded her $44.3 million in compensatory damages and an equal amount in punitive damages. <laughs> you know this means we're making partner this year. Yes! <laughs> May I have everyone's attention? Please get as close as possible. I want to make sure everyone can hear me. I want to thank all of you for another terrific year. Arthur's going to have to redefine terrific when he hears our news. <laughs> I still can't believe it. Oh, I can. That son was even slimer than the trophy wife. Just your typical American family. Oh, <laughs> nice, days. Didn't you hear? I was raised by wolves. Damn, you are cynical. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're not already plotting on how to land that wealthy widow. She's you not know my type. We're here today to celebrate not only our collective success, but to recognize and reward our top earners. Not your type, you're crazy. I don't like trophy wives either, but for 44 million, she's even my type. It's good to know. I was wondering what it would take to get your attention. It is my pleasure to present this year's merit bonus to our most prolific team of litigators, Stacy Reed and Laura John. There we go. Come and get them all there hot, ladies. Stacy Reed. Stacy, can't that wait? Every time Stacy answers your phone, you usually make money, Arthur. You're right. Take your time. Stace, what is it? Stacy, is everything okay? I'll just be gone a couple days. You just lost your sister. Forget about our cases. But remember, conference me in on the Stevens call. And tell Arthur I'll be on my Blackberry. Stacy, you don't have to go through this. I can't imagine getting that kind of call from back home. Pettis is hardly home. I didn't have a very Norman Rockwell childhood there. Because you were a lesbian. Uh, that's the least of it. Some towns are just small. Um, I'm here to see Detective Miller. Sure, right this way. Excuse me, Detective Miller? Yeah. Stacy Reed. Detective Miller. Miss Reed. Um, sorry for your loss. Thank you. So, um, what happens now, Detective? Uh, you can call me Bobby. Bobby Miller? Did you go to... Go Cougars. 
But we definitely weren't in the same class. I'm sorry, I, I remember the name, but I didn't place the face. Not surprising. While you were practicing with a cheerleading squad, I was working on perfecting my partying technique. And now you're a police officer. At our 10-year reunion, I won the award for most ironic. So, uh, did you know my sister? Not very well, but it's a small town. Everybody kind of knows everybody else's business. That was my biggest reason for leaving. Yeah, you know, in a community like this, some people feel trapped and need to get away. Others like the safe environment. That is until yesterday. Karen's death was the first murder in three years. It's got everybody on edge. I, uh, I got a message that you took some of Karen's things, her laptop, her address book. Routine. I'll get everything back to you as soon as we're done with it. Did you find anything? It's an ongoing investigation. There's really nothing to discuss right now. Can you, uh, can you tell me what happened to my sister? Her body was found here yesterday morning by a woman walking her dog. Are you sure you want to hear the details? Yeah. Okay. Here she was raped and strangled. I'm sorry. Hey, Stacy. You okay? Look, I know this is hard. Do you know if Karen had any personal disputes or professional conflicts? We didn't have much contact after our parents died. Why is that? Is that relevant? I think given the circumstances, everything is relevant. Mom and Dad weren't that good as parents. Karen and I weren't that good as sisters. So you were estranged? Do you have any other leads besides me and our parents who have been dead for six years? We are following up on every lead. This case is our number one priority. Oh, of course it is. I'm sure you can back burner the parking tickets and the fireworks permits that your department normally handles. Stacy, Stacy. Understand the first 48 hours are critical to solving a murder. Rest assured we are aggressively pursuing every bit of trace evidence. I'll find the guy. Ben Howard? Hi. 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 
How are you? Listen, I was, uh, I was sorry to hear about your sister. Thank you. It must be tough. And how do you make sense of something like that? You don't. Well, you still managed to look great. Oh, I doubt that. <laughs> Anybody else would be looking like crap, but then again, you were always real good at keeping your emotions in check. So how have you been? Getting by. So how's life outside of Venice? It's all right. I'd say it's more than all right. Looks like uh, moving on and leaving all this behind was the right move. Listen, Ben, I am sorry about going without telling Don't you. Don't worry about it. It's ancient history. I've moved on. Good. Well, it was nice seeing you. Yeah, good, good seeing you. Goodbye. Anybody here? Be right with you. Stacy? Stacy Reed? Uh, yeah, have we met? Oh, um, not officially. Uh, I was three years behind you at Venice High. Roger Edinger. Oh, hello. I'm, I'm so sorry about Karen. Thank you. I was, uh, I was surprised to find her business card. I didn't know she worked here. Our parents left us quite a bit of money and she didn't need to work. She volunteered, actually. As a matter of fact, she donated that very nice exhibit behind the wall. Oh. oh. Excuse me. Zach, did you take the deal? Oh. She is insane. OK, um, look, have Laura go over and talk to her personally. We have to settle this. If we take this into a courtroom, she'll be lucky if she keeps her silicone implants. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thanks. Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Someone's moved a long way from Venice. Do you uh, have any idea who might have done this to Karen? It doesn't make any sense. Everybody loved Karen. Can you... Where, where's the uh, installation? It's right here on the left. Was she dating anybody? I don't think anyone that mattered. I mean, she never mentioned anything about a boyfriend. We, we talked a lot, but never really about that, that part of our life. She was a very private person. She's, she was quiet, but lovely. The, the whole town is just reeling over this. We are gonna find who did this to her. Our church is having a special gathering for Karen this evening. Oh, thank you. But um, I'm, I'm not ready to be around strangers, I don't think. But um, it was really nice talking to you. Me too. I appreciate your time. Oh, wait. My card. If you need anything, please call me. Thank you. Stacy? Stacy? Hello? 
Hi, Mrs. Ray. Oh. oh, child, I am so sorry about your sister. Thank you. I was stunned. The whole town was. How are you holding up? Oh, you know, I don't think it's really sunk in yet. Karen was such a sweet girl. I, I can't believe she's gone. I know, neither can I. But it's so good to see you again. I, if only the circumstances were different. Yeah, I wish I were here for a happier occasion, too. Such a tragedy. This house must fill you with nothing but sad memories. Not only sad. We used to have a neighbor who would bake us oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. You know. I was just thinking, I'm long overdue to bake another batch. Could you find the time to join me? You're so sweet, Mrs. Ray. I think it's time you called me Alice. Thank you, Alice. I appreciate you coming by. You take care. Your servant of God, Karen. May she rest in peace. Amen. Stay safe. Oh, Virginia. Indeed. Thank you for coming. That's all right. I'm so glad you were here. Oh, well, yes, of course. Anything you need, I'm here. Uh, Stacy, excuse me for a second. I get it back to the office. Um, when do you plan on leaving? Um, I think tomorrow. But I wanted to check in with you first. Do you have any new information? Um, why don't you come by later? We'll talk. I'm sorry. Thanks for being here. It was a lovely service. Everyone adored your sister. Not everyone. Mrs. Ray, do you need a lift? I'm going right by your place. Oh, that'd be so nice. Thank so you for sorry. coming. Thank you. Hey. Hey, how are you doing? I thought the service was really good. Yeah, he was. But I asked how you were doing. I'm fine. Stacy. What do you want me to say? Do I feel horrified that something like this could happen to my sister? Do I feel ashamed that I let myself lose complete touch with her? No, you know what? You cannot blame yourself for that. Some families drift apart. It just happens. She was my only sister. How hard could it have been for me just to pick up the phone and call her once in a while or drive out here and see her? Well, the interstate has lanes that go both north and south. I know, I know, but I'm the one who moved away and left her with them. Maybe now they'll finally take care of her. You're not responsible for how your parents were. I know. I could have done better by Karen. Let's go. My parents' room? Where are you sleeping? In my old bedroom down the hall. Uh, it's got to feel a little strange, huh? Oh, this whole place feels strange. The house, this town. Well, the town seems kind of charming. Oh, the charm wears thin pretty fast. I mean, you sneeze, and the person on the next block tells everyone you got a cold. Yeah. Now, the people here must be terrified by what happened. Yeah, that's what the detective was saying. The good looking one at Karen's service? You think he's good looking? <laughs> uh, I'm gay, not blind. <laughs> <sighs> when I take legal possession of the house, I'm gonna get it ready to sell. And that's it? What do you mean? Well, you sell the family house and just close the book on this part of your life? This isn't my life. When I left Venice, I closed that book years ago. Now, with Karen gone, I don't ever have to open it again. I 
Hi, Stace. Hi, Roger. Hey. Night. Knock, knock. Mm. Am I interrupting dinner? No problem. Help yourself. Oh, uh, no thanks. So, um, are you making progress? We're not quite finished with your sister's laptop. She deleted her history, cookie folders, and so forth. I've ordered a more thorough file retrieval to find out what exactly she was deleting. But do you think she's hiding something? Mm. Well, how long do you have anything? Not sure. I have a tech guy working on it right now. Forensics was more promising, though. They were able to extract seminal fluid and a tiny bit of tissue from under one of Karen's fingers. Do you know who did it? Not yet. I was able to pull a few strings and move us to the head of the line at the forensics lab in Tampa. For now, all we know is that the sperm and the skin under her nails match, which I expected. So what are you telling me? What now? The lab's running the sample against the statewide DNA database to see if they get a hit. How long is that going to take? Could be any time. But understand, this only helps if the suspect's DNA is already in the system. So basically, you're doing nothing. I mean, that son of a bitch is out there somewhere, and you're just sitting here eating fried chicken, waiting for answers to come out of the sky. I'm sorry. It's OK. It's OK. think she knew her attacker? I'm not prepared to take anything off the table. But yes, most violent crimes are committed by someone the victim knows. Gosh, I can't believe that Karen would be involved with someone who could do something like this. Everyone has their secrets. What do you mean? Nothing. It, it's just that there's a reason people delete their computer files. Are you sure there's nothing else you can tell me about your sister? Anything that would provide insight into her habits, friendships, anything. I didn't know my sister at all.
Laura? Yeah. It's me. Hey, what's up? I need you to come over. Okay, I'll be right there. I need your internet expertise. Hey, are you all right? You sounded kind of desperate. I'm not desperate. Stunned. What? I found Karen's missing computer files on an external hard drive. She'd hidden them in this secret hiding place she was when she was a kid, and obviously the police didn't find it. So what did you find? Look. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't bother me so much. I get that people role play on the internet, okay? But look at this, it's so creepy. So what? It's, it's a public dating service. That's a generous interpretation. Oh, come on. You make it sound like a criminal act. But this site is so sleazy. I can't believe Karen would be involved with something like this. Public sex with strangers? Well, you know, maybe she got here by accident. You know, took a wrong turn looking for... whatever. Can you see if she's got an account? No, I need her sign-in name and password. <sighs> Try her blog. That, that blog name, Lady X for Sex. Okay. That's it. She stored her password. We're in. Oh, my God. What happened to her? What do you mean? You don't understand. That person in the photos is not my sister. Karen was sweet. There's nothing I won't try once. I get off on new adventures, and I'm not afraid to share the experience with others. Okay, all right. I've heard enough. Sorry. See if they have the profiles. Breath player, hat trick, and Marlin fan. Yeah, look, they're all listed in her personal directory. What's breath player? Huh. He looks pretty normal. Can you find out his real name? Mm, no, they never reveal a member's actual name. I work 18 hours a day. You think it's easy to meet women in a courtroom? Give me a break. All right, try hat trick. Okay. I think I know him. Really? Does he have any more pictures? I don't know. Let's see. That's Nate Howe. He was Karen's soccer coach in high school. Hat trick was three goals scored by one player in one game. Oh, nice. Why would she go out with him? What about Marlon Fan? Marlon Fan is no longer accepting unsolicited messages. Damn. What? Karen had his name in her calendar on the day she died, March 3rd. Okay, does Sheriff Miller know about this? No, I called you as soon as I found out. Do you want me to go to the police station with you? I just feel weird about the police. Look, Stacy, this is the best explanation as to why this happened to Karen. You have to tell the cops. Cops? <laughs> Try cop. Huh? There's one guy, and all he's done for the last 20 years is bust teenage shoplifters and bums on the beach. Okay, that doesn't mean he's inept. I went to high school with him. He was a total screw-up. Okay, in high school, I had a mullet. People can change. Not in this town. I know that from experience. But Stace, he has access to state resources. Those state resources are overwhelmed. I left criminal law because I was tired of seeing scumbags just walk because of that reason. Mm. What am I supposed to do, Laura? No, I mean... Am I supposed to just go back to my life and hope the police will just follow up themselves? I want to do something for Karen. Hey. I know you feel like you always have to bulldoze everyone and, and take charge, and that's what makes you a great lawyer, but this is not the time for that. Let the police handle this. <laughs> what? <laughs> How do you know me so well? <laughs> it's what I do. 
<laughs> Thank you for coming over. Anytime. You're back. Oh, yes. Uh, Karen's affairs were just a little more complicated than I thought. Uh, well, why don't you come by later? I I've got a lovely bottle of red wine, and I, I think this might be the perfect time to open it. Well, that'd be great. Excuse me, one sec, just, oh. oh, hi, Roger. Hey, what are you doing back so soon? Oh, spur of the moment thing. Really, do you need help with those? Nope, it's the last bag. All right, hey, how about dinner tonight? You know, actually, I have plans. Well, tomorrow then. I have a few things of Karen's that she left at the museum, and I was gonna mail them, but, you know, Tomorrow sounds great. Okay, see you then. Would you like to come in? Sure. Hey, Riley, be careful. Don't go out too far. Is he yours? My what? Your son. Oh, no, no. Oh. Riley, the king of the ocean over there, is my nephew. His parents are away for the weekend, so he's staying with me. What are you doing here? Oh, I uh, called the station. They told me I could find you here. I meant, what are you doing back in Venice? Oh, I, you know, I had some downtime at work, so I'm wrapping up some loose ends, getting the house ready to sell. I, uh, I wanted to see if there were any new developments. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not going to be what you want to hear. I heard back from Fiddle yesterday. Fiddle? They managed the Florida DNA database. They ran the sample. We didn't get a hit. It's not a complete dead end, though. The sample now gets plugged into the national database, and we hope for a match. Well, how soon until you hear something? I'm pushing them as hard as I can, but it could be weeks, maybe months. Months? They got a serious backlog. What if, what if you could narrow the suspects down? Why, did you remember someone? I don't think it's important. You trying to protect someone? The only person I care about protecting is Karen. So she told you about her online activities. I thought you said you didn't know your sister at all. How did you know? We were able to recover the history she deleted off her laptop. Why didn't you tell me? We're still investigating its relevancy to the murder. Okay, so where are you with this? Come on, Bobby. Usually it's been hard to get cooperation from websites like these. A big part of their appeal is their ability to protect their users' identities. So what do you do? I get a court order, which could take time. Time? We don't have time. I mean, the killer could be long gone by then. In the meantime, we're pushing this site as hard as we can, and we're threatening to go to the media. It's amazing what a bit of bad publicity can do to change their attitude. Hey, Riley! Riley, come here for a sec, buddy. I want you to meet someone. Come here. Rawr. How are you? You having fun out there? Riley, say hello to Stacy. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Riley. You having fun out there? Okay, don't go out too far, okay? Rawr. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> You'd make a good dad. I barely make a good uncle. Oh, don't sell yourself short. Listen, I'm sorry I lost my cool the other day. I know you're doing everything that you can, and I really, really appreciate it. It's okay. No problem. See you around. Yeah. Oh, well, tell her she doesn't have enough to have Laura handle it and call me back. Stacy. Oh, oh, Ben. Oh, honey. You scared me. What are you doing here? Just a little repair work on the roof. Have it leaking on the parishioners. Mm, that's good. You got a roofing business. No, I had a little problem a while back, and it's part of my obligation. 
Listen, I was wondering if we could have a drink sometime. Uh, I I'm only gonna be here for a couple of days, so I don't think I'm gonna have time. See, here's the thing. Another part of my obligation is to see a therapist. He's been helping me identify my baggage, and he thinks that I should take on my issues head on. And I'm one of your issues. Afraid so, but not in a bad way. More like an important part of my past. See, I told my therapist you were in town, and he thinks that if we could talk and I could own my part into why we didn't work out and make amends, it might help me to move on. Sort of like what they do in AA? Exactly what they do in AA. Only we'd be doing it over a drink, so nothing like AA. <laughs> we say. A drink would actually be really nice. Great. That would be great. I'll see you. See you. Her body was found here yesterday morning by a woman walking her dog. Here she was raped and strangled. How long do you have anything? Not sure. Do you know who did it? Not yet. So basically, you're doing nothing. Do you think she knew her attacker? Yes. Most violent crimes are committed by someone the victim knows. What can I get you? Um, a cup soda, please. Are you sure you don't want to chase that with a shot of vodka? Do I look like I need it? Well, definitely. Um, okay. Uh, vodka martini? Dry. Okay. Hey, you look a little lost. You're waiting for someone. Oh, uh, friend. Well, that's good. Our clientele can be a little aggressive. Well, you know, you remind me of somebody. Oh, yeah? Who's that? A regular. Come to think of it, I don't even know her name. She comes here and usually meets somebody. Well, a man. Never stays long. One drink and they leave. You both definitely share the same taste in clothes. That beautiful girl. Well, there was something sad about her, though. Well, haven't seen her in a while. How much do I owe you? Five dollars. I got it. Thank you. 
You look like the man I'm supposed to meet. Except older. Ouch. Oh, come on. I'm hot enough for you to take a little tease. Well, I like a little tease. Especially when it involves a strip. Well, that is so corny. <laughs> All right. Maybe we should start over. Hi, I'm Nate. I'm the guy you and Elk. The guy you wanted to meet. Get yourself a drink, Nate. You're gonna need it. Jack me. I had no idea she was a former student. As you pointed out, I look different. So did she. How many times did you go out? Just once. And I know what you're thinking. And actually, you're right. In the pictures, Karen looked hot, sexy, and... She had an innocence about her. I... I just like what I like. And what is that? Come on, Nate. My sister has been murdered. Anything you say could help the police find out who did it. I have a wife and two kids. I don't need any trouble. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. That's why I'm here. I don't want to ruin your life. I just want to find out the truth. I like it dirty. Anonymous and raw, just like Karen. Her thing was sex in public places. Parks, cars, bars. Neither one of us liked repeat performances. So we only met the one time. Here at Tino's. Did you... Have sex. Oh, yeah. We did it in there in the ladies' restroom. Halfway through it, Karen told me who she was. I guess she thought it would make it hotter. And she was right on the money. It did. She was a sweet kitten. I know it's hard to believe, but he's got no reason to be lying. Have you completely lost your mind? I mean, do you have any idea how dangerous this is? What if he was the guy? I, I just don't think he is. I'm right? I mean, I know it sounds strange, but I found him oddly sympathetic. Oh, great. Yeah, that's what they said about Ted Bundy. And I don't believe this. What did you do? Stole his shot glass, and I got the hell out of there. Wait, I'm sorry, you stole his shot glass? Yeah, so they can get his DNA from his saliva. You know as well as I do that would not hold up in court. Look, I'm not officially gathering evidence. And if I wait until the police check these guys out, I'd still be waiting. All right. What's your screen name? Legal action. Makes sense. Nothing makes sense. Password? Briefs. Uh, what are you wearing? Uh, it's Karen. I thought I would have checked the same kind of man. What? Well, you look, um, uh, I don't know, like you're uh, enjoying yourself. 
Oh, isn't that how I'm supposed to look? I guess. All right, so where do you go from here? I've contacted all the guys in Karen's address book, and I'm having drinks tonight with Breath Player. Stacy, you should be going to the police with all this now. No, don't worry, okay? I can handle it. I'm serious. Hey, I am too. All right, I'm just gonna get a little more evidence, and then I'll go. And what am I supposed to tell your clients? I mean, they're wondering why I stepped in all of a sudden, and Arthur is giving me the third degree. You could lose everything. Wait, Laura, I just lost my sister. Yeah, and doing this is not gonna bring her back. No, but it will bring her justice, and I have to see this through. Look, I'm, I'm really scared for you. I mean, Karen's world is dark, I know. I don't know, maybe I just need to understand why all this appealed to her so much. In some ways, these guys knew her better than I did. This whole thing makes me nervous. I know. Me too. I hate this. Just call me when you get home. We're not meeting till 10. Why so late? Because I'm having dinner first with Roger, guy from the museum. That's my little brother. He's cute. <laughs> Thanks. So I want you to have this. The moviegoer by Walker Percy? Mm-hmm. It was Karen's favorite in her personal copy. What's it about? Huh. Most people lead lives of quiet desperation. Mm, it sounds like light reading. <laughs> yeah. Karen was a deep thinker. Well, thank you for giving me the book. You're very welcome. And thank you for dinner. It was so <laughs> good. How'd you learn how to cook like that? My mom, she um, showed me how to cook. My dad died when I was nine. My mom went to work, and I learned how to cook. Oh, wow. I'm sorry to hear about your dad. Oh, thank you. Here you go. Thank you very much. I will try. Perfect. Do you like the wine? Oh, yeah. Would you like some more? Oh, no. I got a big day tomorrow. Lawyers, realtors. Oh, excuse me. You know what? I'm going to turn this off for the rest of the night. Good. So you're definitely selling that house, huh? Yeah. I don't have much use for it. That's a shame. It's been in your family forever. Yeah, well. It hasn't given my family much happiness. I'm really amazed that Karen didn't sell it years ago. You know, I wish you knew Karen like I did. I think she would have surprised you. What do you mean? Well, Karen, for instance, loved that house. I can't imagine why. I don't know. I think that, like, you know, she was a sentimentalist. By romanticizing her past, she was able to make sense of it. Well, we all cope in different ways. Mm-hmm. And how did you? I ran as fast and as far as I could, and I never looked back. And yet, here you are. Do you mean erotic strangulation? 
it's not exclusively my thing. I'm open to alternative sexuality. So, which is it for you? What? Do you prefer to deprive yourself of oxygen? Or to deprive your partner? I can get off both ways. But sexual gratification is more intense when focused on someone else. I have an idea. You promised Lady X for sex a good time. What? Did you take her to the beach and have yourself a good time? What are you doing? Just tell me the truth. Look, I don't know what this is, but if you're as confused as that other chick, this date is over. Oh, come on, it's not over if I'm still breathing. You want to know something? You're worse than that other chick. She was just a little girl who didn't know what she wanted. You, you're a bitch. Are you telling me Breath Player didn't put his hands around her neck and get what he wanted? We spent all of five minutes together. Enough time for her to down the drink I brought her and ditch me! Let me tell you something, even though you're not worth it. A lot of the guys that cruise these sites, they're not good guys! So if you and your friend like to get a laugh at their expense, you are definitely playing with fire. come from? Men involved with my sister. Involved how? Went on a date or two. And how do you know this? Did you arrange dates with them from the website? This shot glass is from a man named Nate Howe. He also calls himself Hat Trick. He used to be the girls' soccer coach at Venice High, and he now lives in Sarasota with his wife and his two kids. Stacy, that was stupid and dangerous. This straw is from someone who calls himself Breath Player. Breath Player. He's into erotic asphyxiation. We need to check these guys out. You gotta let us do our job. You haven't even identified these men as suspects. While you're waiting for corporate cooperation or pressure from the media, the guy is still out there. Please, please just, just run these tests, okay? Find out if these guys did it. Acting reckless is not gonna get us any closer to solving this. <sighs> We're way past the 48-hour window. I'm just asking you to check the DNA. If I do this, will you promise to stay away from the men on that website? I will. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. What do you know about Ben Howard? <laughs> You're asking me? Thought you two were tight. Football hero, dating the head cheerleader, king, queen of the prom, all that good stuff. That was a lifetime ago. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I heard he got into some trouble. Ben has a tendency to drink, and he is not a warm and cuddly drunk. I seem to remember that. Anyway, he went on a bender about six months ago and busted up a joint in Sarasota. The judge gave him 50 hours community service and one year probation, and he's still been in trouble since then. Why the interest in Ben? I've just run into him a couple times, you know, since I've been back, and uh, 
I was just curious. You might want to keep your distance. His antics in high school might have been funny. Now they're downright unstable. Checking in. Anything new? Well, I just found this email that was sent to Karen about a week before she died from someone named G-Man. Another public triple X member? Ugh. Yeah. You know, I think they went out, but for some reason he's not in her calendar. Well, have you got his profile there? Hold on. He looks pretty normal. What are you gonna do? Send him an email. Oh, Stace. Didn't you promise to stay out of the investigation? Look, he's probably not going to respond. And if he does, I promise, I will meet him in a very public place. All right, I'm coming up there to watch your back. You're a good friend. We'll see you soon, Stace. This is a really lovely little place. Yeah, I just opened up a month ago. Fantastic views, terrific food. You don't have to take out a second mortgage to pay the bill. <laughs> <laughs> well, when word gets out, there'll be a line around the block. Which is why we must never divulge its location to anyone. No, <sighs> I'm serious. The secret is safe with me. <laughs> it's been really great getting to know you. I'm having a really nice time, too. Yeah, I feel really lucky that you contacted me. <gasps> well, perhaps it was fate. I really cared about your sister. Karen talked a lot about you, Stacy. I, I think she was just really in awe of you. You know who I am? Uh, yeah. Karen had pictures of you at her house. I, I, I didn't say anything sooner, because I, you know, I figured you got to have a reason you didn't want me to know, so. You angry? No, no. <laughs> Karen must have felt comfortable with you if she opened up about her life. Yeah. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. I think things would have gone a lot deeper, but I could tell she wasn't quite ready. I guess you could say I was just sort of hanging in there. Well, for what it's worth, I think she would have come around. Thanks. I was just devastated when I heard what happened. Me too. So why are you doing this whole online thing? Uh, ever heard the expression, walk a mile in my shoes? I'm trying to get a sense of who Karen was. Well, Karen remains my favorite topic. Do you, um, you ever want to get together and, you know, find out more? I'm available to you. Thank you. Have a nice lunch. Are you following me? Yep. Please run his DNA. I don't know whether to arrest you or offer you a job in my department. Stacy, you have to stop this. I can't keep following you around 24 7, and these guys Karen knew are not pussycats. That's exactly why I'm doing this. How'd you find out your sister was dating these men anyway? <laughs> Listen, I know you realize withholding evidence in a murder investigation is a felony. If you found another address, book, or calendar, you need to hand it over. Look, I'm making progress, and you know it. At what price? You want to join your sister? OK. I found an external hard drive of Karen's, and she had information stored on it. You found it at Karen's house? Yes. 
We searched that place from top to bottom. Where was it? Inside her teddy bear. It was a secret hiding place when she was a kid. Unbelievable. Where is it now? Inside. Show me. I had to do something. I saw your picture and had to contact you. We have a lot in common, and I'd like to get to know you better. I promise you won't be disappointed. Marlon. You. Well, you're pretty cleaned up too. Buy you a drink? Um, well, actually, I'm um I'm, I'm meeting someone. I know. Go Marlins. Hey, meet it, buddy. Come on. You wanna go someplace a little quieter? Give me in the back. Uh sure. What are you drinking? Uh Cosmopol. B. Cosmo beer. My table, please. I gotta tell you, I was pretty surprised to see your picture on the public triple X website. Uh, Karen told me about it, and I thought I'd give it a try. Well, I had my profile set to private, but then I reactivated it when I saw your picture. Why? We had plans to get a drink together already. That was about making amends. This is about reliving history. You know, you should probably go a little easy on that. Oh, come on, Stace. What, you don't think I can handle my liquor? No, it's Don't just... Don't worry about me. I'm fine, okay? Hey, Yo, B. One more beer, please. Got it, Ben. So what about you, boyfriend? No. Not at the moment. Girlfriend? You know, for a long time, I had a real hard time picturing you with somebody else. But then after a while, I had a hard time picturing you not being with someone else. Hmm. Does that make any sense? Yeah, I get it. So what about you? Dating? A little. I mostly like it uncomplicated, like the website. Did you know that Karen was a member? Yeah. It surprised the hell out of me to see her picture online. Did you two go out? I emailed her. She tried to pretend it wasn't her, but uh, I don't know. I think maybe the thought of being with me was a turn on. What do you mean? I'm not being conceited, OK? It had nothing to do with me, OK? I was your boyfriend. I was her sister's high school boyfriend. Did you ever get together? We made a date, but she never showed up. Probably for the best. I couldn't have done anything with her. It just reminds me of you. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe you still have this truck. Oh, uh, Stace, you know me. When I when I find something I like, I try and hold on to it. Well, thanks for driving me home. You're gonna walk out on me again, aren't you? No, it's just. You know, it's late, and I have a lot to do tomorrow. Am I going to at least see you before you leave town? Ben, I don't think that's a good idea. So you're walking out on me again? No, it's not like that. Oh, I it's mean, like I... what? Like you never said you loved me? Like you never promised that we'd be together forever? We were in high school, Ben. 
We were stupid kids who said things we didn't mean. You meant everything that I said. I'm sorry that I hurt you. I'm <laughs> sorry you hurt me. You know, Stacy, you turned my whole world upside down. Sorry, just doesn't quite cut it. Okay, I mean... In fact, it doesn't help it. Oh. No! Stacy, stop it! Get off! Get off! My doctor, my doctor says I shouldn't drink. I'm on medication and it's- Then don't. And stay the hell away from me. Come on, Stacy. The night your sister was killed, Ben was sleeping off a DUI in county jail. Okay, well, what time was he arrested? I mean, maybe, maybe he did it, and then he got arrested for the perfect alibi. I, I, I think you're reaching. Oh, come on! I saw scratch marks on his neck, and his name was the last one in Karen's calendar. Plus, he's totally out of control. You know that, and he's still obsessed with me. All right, I'll check him out. I already have his DNA sample from prior arrests. I'm seeing Garner tonight. Why? Because I want to learn more about my sister, and I think he knows her best. I don't think that's a good idea. I knew you'd say that. I'll have someone shatter you. Is that really necessary? At the rate you're stealing and stalking, it's as much for the safety of the people of this town as it is for you. Why, Sheriff Miller, I think he just made a joke. We'll see. See you. Dave, you gotta help me out with those samples. Especially the one I had sent over this morning. I don't know, Bobby. All it takes is one murder in Sarasota County and it sets tourism back five years. It's a long shot, bro. You, you know what? I realize it's a long shot, but it's all I've got on this case right now. Besides, I got 30 samples in front of yeah. me and no stuff. Yeah, I know you're swamped. I also know you're a huge Bucks fan, right? You ever seen a game from the owner's box? You promising me box seats? Yeah, yes, I can deliver on that. But I need you to bump my stuff to the head of the line. For box seats, you got it, Bobby. You're the king. Call me the second you know anything. secret. I got that from Karen's house. You took it. I, she, well, she was fine with it once she saw I had it. And she's just so camera shy. Besides, uh, the only way friends are allowed to have pictures of their girls. <laughs> so you found her a challenge. Guess I love a challenge. <laughs> How long did you two date? Uh, a few months. Must have been a record for my sister. Yeah. I really like to see anyone more than once, but yeah, I like to think that I charmed her. <laughs> it was a strange relationship. How so? You sure you want to hear this? That's why I'm here. Bobby, line three. All right. Detective Miller. Hi, Detective Miller. Hold on. This is Laura Johns. I'm sorry about that. What can I do for you, Miss Johns? Um, 
Listen, I hope that you don't think this is silly, but I've been trying to reach Stacy Reed for over an hour, and it keeps defaulting to voicemail, and it's just not like her to turn off her phone. No, 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 it's not silly at all. However, I'm keeping her on a tight leash. Then you know she's having dinner at Garner's. I do. I have a squad car keeping an eye on her. <sighs> okay, great, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night. Garner and I met online. And uh, our first date was probably just like all our other dates. This feels really strange sharing this with you. I know. Me too. We met at the beach at sunset. Shared a blanket. And watched the view and had sex. Still be here. Okay. Thanks, man. I know Karen was uncomfortable seeing me again, but uh, I managed to persuade her. She must have <laughs> liked you more than she wanted to admit. <laughs> I think she did. <laughs> It might sound crazy, but I think things are getting deeper when she spent the night and we didn't have sex. Dinner served. Uh -uh. Could you get that out of the oven for me? Sure. Thanks. A match? Yeah, sample 843-492. Say that again? 843-492. You're sure? They're identical. Oh, damn. Donnelly. Donnelly, we have a positive match on Garner. Repeat, Garner is our guy. His DNA is a match. What's your position? Donnelly, do you read? I don't know. I didn't see anything. It's probably just the neighbor's cat in the trash. The top's broken. She's always getting in there. Well, why were you gone so long? Oh, sorry. I'd be smart if I took it to the street. Are you OK? Oh, uh, yeah, it's weird. Um, I must have caught it on the edge. Uh, let me clean up. down 315 at 404 Bayshore Drive.
DNA matches the killer, that's what this is. Get your ass on the edge of the bed! Move! Move! Now! I was with her, man, I didn't kill her. Why didn't you come to the police then? Hands behind your back! Because I knew how we'd look. You're telling the truth? Oh, come on, the evidence. It is the truth. I had consensual sex with Karen that night. It might have been a little wild, but when she left here, she was alive. Get up. On your feet! Body. that's not the guy who hit me. That's on him. Wait! Wait, Stacy! What are you doing out here? With the cab look like? What? The cab to pick up Stacy! She called from her cell phone and she took off! Secure guy and her steez is on foot. I'm going after her. Right. Turn around. When I can't sleep, I find walking by the beach at night clears my head. Beats counting sheep. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what's your excuse? I was just out of dinner. A date? Just a dinner. You know what I know? I don't think so. Oh, I know just about everyone in town. It's not important. Right. Sorry. So what happened? What's with the interrogation? I just want to know why you'd be running out of someone's house like that in the middle of the night. I didn't say I was at anyone's house. Well, where else would you be coming from? Restaurant? Movie theater? But you weren't, were you? You were at his house, and now you're embarrassed. Roger, I'm going home. Please, leave me alone. having dinner with someone. Let go of me! I want to know why you and your sister find him so attractive. Who? What are you talking that about? That guy you had dinner with tonight. You were watching us. Karen had sex with him. That's what got her killed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, it was no. his fault. He may have had his hands wrapped around her neck. Oh, please, Roger, listen to me. Please. When I told her I loved her, she she laughed at me. Roger, you were friends. Maybe she just didn't take you seriously. Do you think I'm serious <laughs> now, Stacy? Oh. I did everything for her. I gave her a place to belong. I was her family. She was willing to give it all away for that bastard. If he didn't know her like I did, he would have hurt her. She just met her. I have to stop it. Roger, please. You are just like her. Uh, you're hurt me. Uh, All to go. Uh, I need uh, you to just disappear. Uh, please. I'm sorry. Roger, please. Oh, no. Stacy! Uh, 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 <laughs> Are you okay? It was Roger. I know. I know. It's over. It's over.
this is the last of Karen's things. Um, Rupert will come tomorrow and pick up the rest. You're sure about this, huh? Yeah. You know, with Karen gone, there's just no, no real reason to keep the house. Yeah. Hopefully the new owners will be really happy here. What? What is it? I realized something in all this. You know, when I left Venice, I never stopped running and I missed out on knowing Karen and who knows what else. I want to change that. You know, I want to know what it feels like to just be still, to, to go someplace beautiful and just be. <laughs> wow, you're kidding. Stacy, no vacation read, taking time off. What am I going to do without you? Well, actually, I was hoping you wouldn't have to find out. <laughs> what? <laughs> Everything is covered. I talked to Arthur. He's got our cases taken care of. And I want to do this for you, Laura. You've done so much for me. Let me. For you. For us. Are you sure? <sighs> sure about what? About tropical beaches, beautiful sunsets, <laughs> an endless flow of Mai Tais? <laughs> or am I sure about you? to say. Just say yes.